said to cousin Jen sitting on the porch I won't retire but I might retread seemed like that guy singing this song been doing it for a long time is there any song for freedom sing a song for love sing a song for depressed angels falling from above Pretending he could see But he couldn't read Without his glasses on How can all these people Afford so many things When I was young People wore what they had on And mama said in everything you do will make the world a better place with or without you a little love and affection in everything you Thoughts for the 21st century I mostly came up with nothing So the truth was never learned And the human race just kept rolling on Rolling through the fighting Rolling through the religious war Churches exposed sores Rolling through the fighting The religious wars Mostly came up with nothing Here's your glasses, you'll see much better now. Said that young girl of Edith and Earl's. But Grandpa 
Bubba just kept staring He was lost in some distant thought Then he turned and he said to that young girl A little love and affection In everything you do Will make the world a better place With or without you It's a new morning dawning on the green Bouncing off the towers The sun's headed down to the street The business meeting when no shades are drawn Another morning edition Is headed for the porch Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Got some uh, songs for you tonight, some new songs I'm going to sing uh, about a tune, about a place called Greendale. If I can just remember how to talk, I'll be right with you. And a family called the Green Family. That's a... Uh, Earl Green. Uh, Earl Green is a uh, Vietnam vet. He returned here in 1969 and became a painter. He uh, psychedelic pictures. He's been painting for the last 35 years, approximately. And uh, his beautiful wife, Edith, who he met as soon as he got back from Vietnam, he went out to a bar to try to loosen up and met her that first night and they uh, got married had a beautiful young daughter her name is Sun Green so there you have it they live in a little ranch outside of Greendale a couple of miles called the Double E now uh, Sun's not here right now she's doing her homework and uh, she's working on a book report He's working on a book report on a book called How to Use the Media, written by a California lawyer. 
and she's also working on a project for her year-end paper called uh, Saving Alaska, Our Last Wilderness by Sun Green. Summer of love. 
Thank you very much. And we appreciate it. Thank you. Well, in Greendale, there was a jail. It was built in 1911, and uh, living there since 1911 has been the devil. And not many people have seen him, but they think they see him a lot. He comes and goes as he pleases, of course. He's not confined to jail like the prisoners. He can walk through the walls and melt through the bars whenever he wants to. But that's not what I'm going to tell you about here. This is something else here. John Green, Captain Green. He has his boat down at the dock in Greendale, and it's a, a rickety old wharf that's been condemned, and he has his sailboat down there. And uh, this morning he's bringing his crew up to go deck some supplies, and uh, he never goes into Greendale himself because he has a lot of bad blood with the family and uh, doesn't want to see them. Now, I don't blame him either. If you knew the story, that's terrible. I don't have time to tell you right now. We got a show to do, okay? I can't talk all night. Anyway. Anyway, this morning, Captain Green has got his crew in there, a couple of teenagers, and he's telling them, you go in a hardware store and get what we need and come right back. Don't go to Greendale. And don't stay there, because it's not a good place. So, uh, okay. They're teenagers. They know that they're going to go to... They're going to they're gonna go to the John Lee's bar and see the imitators tonight. And they're going to get laid if they're lucky. I don't usually say that, but, you know, I thought I'd throw that in tonight, because you look ready for it.
You're a great audience. Thank you. Well, just outside of Greendale, there's a little sign that says Leaving Greendale. Population 20,000. And uh, that sign was the subject of many meetings. The mayor and the Greendale Chamber of Commerce, a realtor's union. And they all... Uh, decided to paint it green after several meetings. But unfortunately, you can speak to the billboard if you'd like to, it was plenty of time. Anyway, like everything, it has several reasons for being there. And uh, one of the best reasons I can think of is for Officer Carmichael. Officer Carmichael parks his cruiser right under the billboard there and nobody can see him. That means he makes his quota now every week, no problem.
speeding and no brake lights. Rolled down the driver's window, shoved his gun down under the seat. The box full of cocaine. and registration sent the officer with his flashlight searching around the floor of the car smelling like something ain't right white super eight he heard the sound of the future on a scratchy old 78 nothing was still always moving when the flashlight found the gun then jet pulled the trigger in a split second tragic blunder about living what life has to tell said Jed to grandpa from inside his cell camouflage hung in his closet guns all over the wall plans for buildings and engineers and a book with no numbers to call the whole town was stunned They closed the coast highway for 12 hours No one could believe it Jed was one of ours Across the ocean, living in the internet was the cause of an explosion. No one has heard yet. But there's no need to worry, there's no reason to fuss. Just go on about your work now. And leave the driving to us And we'll be watching you In everything you do And you can do your part By watching others too
So when Jed killed Officer Carmichael on the side of the road that night, his life changed forever. Most of the people in Greendale want to see Jed hung or something. So he went to jail. But Officer Carmichael, he had a lot of good friends in town. He was the kind of cop that used to direct traffic at the you know, local events. And he stayed around the school protecting the children. And he always donated his time for nothing to help out. He left behind a beautiful widow. And uh, she was taking it pretty hard and she had a lot of trouble with pictures of Carmichael with his gun. So they took down all those pictures of him with his police officer's uniform and all of his buddies from the force and his car and all the other cruisers and a picture of all the cruisers together with all the officers in Greendale and uh, some duck hunting pictures where he had some guns. She took all those down and she had her girlfriend Ann over and Ann helped her to go through some of the things. Uh, they were going through the closets and uh, some of the drawers. They discovered that Carmichael had some secrets. He's a lot like you and me, Officer Carmichael. from the napkin hidden in a drawer 200 bucks in an envelope labeled Lenore maybe she shouldn't see this 
she should never know Said the widow's best friend And I'll just take it and go I'll give her the money later Say it was in a shoe That way she'll never find out to the force in everything he did. It's like we got a big hole in our side where he fit. If any of you officers would like to say a word, now would be the time to be heard. Chief, I sure would. Carmichael was a partner of mine. He was always very careful. And he played it straight down the line. One by one, the officers spoke. And the service drew to a close. He had no living relatives but his wife, and she never showed. She just couldn't face the men. They all understood. They got in their cars and drove home as directly as they could.
prevail Shot down in the line of duty Is that how justice never failed? I wish that things were better When we said goodbye today But we had our share of good times though so cool we saw Wayne Newton down at Pebble Beach and you acted like a fool we just couldn't stop laughing it seemed so funny to us we left our luggage back in the hotel and almost missed the bus was a great vacation maybe the best of all but god damn it Carmichael you're dead now and I'm talking to the wall space. Thank you, folks. Well, I'm gonna need your help on this next one here. It's a song about Sun Green's daddy, Earl Green. You know, our friend, the Vietnam vet. This is a song about uh, his problems he's had selling his paintings, even though they're beautiful and Sun thinks they're beautiful. And 
Edith thinks are beautiful, and the ones I've seen are great paintings. But the problem is, they look kind of like hippie paintings from the 60s or something, and people just dismiss them like they're no good. But they're great. And Earl, he believes in himself, and he believes that he can just keep making these paintings. And, it's, and for one thing, if he doesn't paint, he starts going out of his mind because he remembers where he's been and the things he did in Vietnam. So he keeps painting all the time for sanity. And even though he can't sell these paintings, and it bothers him that he has to live off grandpa's money, grandpa's very wealthy. Thank God for grandpa. And uh, so this is a story of Earl. One night he was trying to sell his paintings and he was so depressed he stayed in a motel in Greendale and got on uh, his computer and tried to get on eBay and see if he could sell his paintings, but he couldn't log on. He didn't know how to do it, so. second look Wrapping up dope in a paper bag Talking to yourself Taking a drag What does it matter the things you say? Who you I'll never hear it anyway Gotta get past the negative thing Lawyers and business get what you bring. No one's sorry, you did it yourself. It's time to relax now and then give it hell. Someday you'll find everything you're looking for. Someday you'll find everything you're looking for. You didn't bet on the Dodgers to beat the Giants. Then David came up. Now you gotta pay up. You didn't count on that. Geez, half the money's gone. The month is still young. Where are you gonna go now? Can't go to your brother. Cause that money's all gone. Can't go to your friends.
beat out like a bandit for so many years. What are you working for? One more big score. What are you trying to prove? Try to get closer, but not too close. Try to get through, but not be through. Nobody can touch you now, but I can touch you now. You're invisible. You got too many secrets. Bob Dylan said that. Something like that. Someday you'll find everything you're looking for. Thank you. Well, one morning, Grandma and Grandpa were having breakfast, enjoying some of those Elvis-style muffins. And you got me the wrong guitar here. Could I have the other one? And uh, they were working on a uh, conversation between the two of them, which was a little hard to have early in the morning. Thank you. When suddenly a helicopter landed right outside, started shaking the house, and he looked outside and they saw they were surrounded by media. And uh, they headed out into the garage and got in the El Dorado, and Grandma drove Grandpa real fast out to the double E, and they got away from this place that was surrounded by all these people with their microphones and numbers on their jackets.
here's your coffee Said Edith that she filled his car Nobody will find you here And Earl is glad you guys showed up The way things are downtown You might have to stay for a while There was a helicopter flying over your house Talk to your neighbor, Kyle. Who the hell do they think they are? Invading our home like that. Grandma and I had to leave so fast. We couldn't even catch the cat. The helicopter scared the shit out of it. It took off down the trail, down past the railroad track, towards the county jail. the letter in. Jed took it up and he read it. And he couldn't hide a grin. Outside the jail window, a crow flew across the sky, completely disappearing behind each bar. Helicopter flew by. Say hi to Earl and Edith. Tell them I'm doing fine. Tell them it's time for you to leave home now, son. And they ought to cut the line. Can't Grandma come and see me? song to sing. It's longer than all the others combined. And it doesn't mean a thing.
walkie-talkie squeal. Generators were running. Fans parked outside in the field. TV crews and cameras. They wanted to interview Grandpa on the porch. They came through the gate and up on the lawn. Knocking down Edith's tiki torch. Grandpa saw them there. Looking through the Venetian blind. People don't have any respect, so they won't get any of mine. I ain't gonna talk about Jet. I don't watch Channel 2 or 6 or 9. I don't have time to talk that fast. And it ain't my crime. be on TV and it ain't a duty either the only good thing about TV is shows like leave it to beaver shows with love and affection like mama used to say a little man gun down from the closet and he loaded up both barrels went out on the porch and fired them off and up walked a woman named Carol Susan Carol from Early Magazine I got some questions to ask well, you could stick them where the sun don't shine, Grandpa said with a gasp. Then he fell face first and let out a sigh. Edith ran out in shock. Grandpa was whispering to her from down on the floor. It looked like he was trying to talk. Just keep singing. Can't somebody shut him up? I don't know for the life of me where he comes up with that stuff.
fog was rolling in It was getting hard to see The old white car edged down the road Headed for the double E She was bringing down dinner for Grandpa It was crawling with vitamins Tender as a mother's love Tender as a mother's love Tender as a mother's love When she saw the TV van Side door was open, there were three TVs. Grandpa's face was on everyone. He was talking to a woman with a microphone. She was sexy, and her hair was all done. Sun green came down. Grandma then My, you're such a beautiful girl Mother Earth needs more like you You should go out now and see the world What's Grandpa doing on TV? I got his dinner in the car All these vans have blocked our road But we can carry it It's not too far Suits poured out of 
elevators. Oh, buddy. Phone heads began to speak. I can't trust anybody. Security couldn't get her down. She was welded to the eagle's feet. Hey, Mr. Queen. You're dirty now, too. Torches. News cameras recorded her speech. And the city is plunged in the darkness by an unpredictable blackout. The White House always blames the governor, saying the solution is vote him out. On top of that great bronze eagle, Sun's voice was loud and clear. She said, Marco is working with the White House to paralyze our state with fear. It was a golden moment, golden moment. in the history of TV news. No one could explain it. It just got great
follow us, there's no way and no We got the job to do
she lost the game. Next day I went to the dentist, pulled some teeth and I lost some blood. They'd like to thank him for the car two centers. My wife and I were all choked up.
This one might be a little out of tune.
just turned 22. I was wondering what to do. The closer they got.
Thank you.